The largest league for Collegiate Rocket League just had its first qualifier this past weekend, and 5th seed Ball State and 12th seed Kennesaw State met in the final match. Winner qualified into the $100,000 fall semester. This series was a doozy, streamed live on my Twitch. Let's get into it. Kennesaw State versus Ball State. Two states. Kenny versus Ball. Yes, keep in mind this is best of five, but it is a bracket reset on the table. And if you're Ball State, there will be none needed because they feel like they're going to have to be confident going into this one. Found a deflection, so Flitz will carry all the way back. Gets a pinch up. And go with a double read, almost a double tap. Would have been crazy. Oath probably can bury this one. He's going to be faster than TNT. And after about three minutes of waiting, Ball State have our two goal lead, have our second goal within this game. TNT looking for Parson. That is way too high. Gah. You can't say the same. It's the perfect height for a double. Everybody on Ball State getting involved. You can't ask for a better setup like that from Gah. Ball State making a statement in game number one. 3 0. They are not to be trifled with. Took a bite of my granola bar because I was so confident that first attack wouldn't be a goal. I guess we'll see with Oath. They're flicking around and indeed is going to be in. I got a mouthful of granola and egg on my face. And now a fake from TNT. Love that one. Problem is, where the rest of his team is, there is a rule one in the back of the Kennesaw net. All right, chat, place your bets. Oath and Guh versus Flitz and TNT in a 2v2. As Par will ask, how you doing in chat? Having casual conversation. Wova responds with chilling, babe. Horny ah lobbies, you know what I mean? Oath gets another one. And unfortunately, that date in the corner is going to be completely broken up. We have all the Kepners in the chat. Well, actually, we would once we have uh, Mama and Papa Kep, maybe. Oh my goodness, I didn't even look. I looked away for one second. And Par suddenly has one in. Wait no longer. Bump play leading to some disheveled clears. We'll see, uh, hold that up slowly. Not gonna stop Flitz from getting the pass. It's straight down to par. That was all gonna be a clip and a half if they're able to make that work. What a pass from TNT. The attack is not over until you get that clear. Flitz gets number two, but what a job from TNT. Beating out two defenders. Uh, with the double, no read. Oath late, double commit from Kennesaw, but Flitz Able to not only stay in control, but get the 100 boost. What can he do with it? Air dribble to the top shelf. Apex Star Flitz making a name in CRL as well. What control over top of Ball State. And a lead with a minute to go. Can they get one more to answer back? They're going to have to do, go coast to coast to figure it out. And there's no one willing to take that spotlight. Everybody spread out. Kennesaw State able to answer back the first of at least six victories that they need to make to make CRL. And I will say that is refreshing to see from Kennesaw. Game one really got out of hand incredibly quickly. Bar. The changeup actually fools Gu. He's going to leave that to Oath. We'll pass that to Wova on a run-up. TNT meets him. TNT beats out the last defender. Can he wrap around it for the shot? It's not going to be the easiest angle, but he makes it work. How does he calculate this? Doing all the work. No team required. 3v3. Might as well be 1v3. Fisher is a good team, but ultimately it's hard to stream them because most teams they play in their pool are going to destroy it. So it's hard to make a narrative out of that, but hopefully someone grabs them. And hopefully someone stops this one. Pass off the corner. Poor TNT and Flitz. They're just stuck in the middle. Poor Par. He's, well, he's in the afterlife. He's just watching from above. Par off ceiling. Shot down. Guh. 
Into par, into flits, and it looks like no! Not like this! Ball State played played the redirect, and there was none to be seen. Poor Wova. Just trying to put this ball to the ground. Flits into TNT, and they have done it. Means the attack will persist. Oath. That one gets away from him just a little bit. Flits was playing for a 50. Carson back post with a bump play. Kennesaw, 23 ticks to go, is going to take a lead. Look at this one on the right side of your screen. Flits drift bumps into Gud just to get him out of the way. Y'all need to wake up to the meta that is the bump. Wova. Roller around. TNT trying to keep it safe and go was there, but going to be out muscled. Flits right down the middle. We're headed for a bracket reset. Six seconds remaining, and Kennesaw has step one of two completed. State, quite a lot to think about. Always bracket reset? Uh, in my knowledge, yes. Wait a minute. Hold the phone. One second remaining. Ball State has a chance. Kennesaw has done it. So we are into interesting territory here. This is potentially it. Ball State and Kennesaw. It is going the distance. Bracket reset. Kennesaw getting 3-1 in the grands. And now, got to do it one more time to be able to make CRL League play in the Eastern Conference. Definitely a heroic run from them. Losing in upper semis. Going all the way down to lowers. Beating the team that beat them. And now trying to do it again. But it's so tough. Because game ones seem to be ball states. Ah, uh, yes, Stockton Legend Vussy. It is free for Wova, except if it's against him. Go with the steal, and he's going to still get it in the end. Kennesaw playing a little fast and looser on their goal right there. Poor Flitz, met by Wova, and par with a heavy touch. Wova. Met by two players. TNT actually might have a counter. He does have the power and certainly does have the accuracy. Ball State, you got to be a little bit more careful moving up there. Everybody caught in the midfield. And TNT doesn't even need that mid boost to be able to convert that. Kennesaw. Still looking at under a minute for a goal, but the rotation not in line. Arson with a lead block on Flitz. He's a menace in the backfield. From one end to the other, poor Guh. On the shadow defense, Flitz misses the first one, immediately turns, almost pre-jumps the bump. Go. Redirect. No shot. Bar down. Par able to save it away. Go. Taking another shot at it. No redirect from Oath available. Overtime and game one of the bracket reset. I mean, it all works the same. Double kick from Ball State. Now here's the attempted to counter. Oath dove in. It's Ga. He's left alone. The in and out save. It's just not good enough. Kennesaw, yet another victory. Trying to pull the upset two series in a row over the top seeded team in pool five. I gotta say, Ball State, I'm not I'm not seeing the copy passes in chat. I'm not seeing the cheers. Kennesaw winning off of just pure adrenaline right here. Pure fandom. Uh, mishandles it, TNT, from bad to worse for Ball State. Granted, a difficult read, but Gah uh, leaned a little bit too far back. As if you're trying to get into CRL, Kennesaw is the type of team that you're expected to beat. Open net. Flitz. Getting the credit. My oh my. Ball State, what is going on? Kennesaw looking to go two up in the series, set themselves on a match point. Two and a half minutes for Ball State to make something happen. How about that one? Oath on the infield pass. And right off the kickoff, Ball State's back in it. They haven't been putting in the work. That much is clear. 
Oath. Delayed flick and a demo. How about a 2 2? Bartzi, I, I saw you guys, though, uh, take a dub over Rochester. That was huge. Gah, with a 50 of his life into the net. Kennesaw State crumbling under a resurgent Ball State. And you could not really witness a worse angle for TNT. Parson, demo. Answer back. Tit for tat. What a delightful grand final this has turned into be. I really never know what, what time we're going to actually have a break in any of this. Ultimately still, we'll keep possession. Ball ricocheting left and right. Gah, back post. Slaughter, it's set in place. Not like this, it's Wova. 37 seconds. Is that enough? to keep KSU down. Off the corner, Oath into the ground. And Ball State makes an effective best of three for Cyril Qual. Wova, the back pass into Gu will be easily received. Reset in the back pocket. How about a second one? Into the top shelf, Gu doesn't get the goal and Oath does not get the finish. Wova with a 50 and that's turned away. What could have probably been the best assist we've seen. Turns into Oath, playing for a 50 when there was none. Naga makes up for it. It's still afflicted. How? Oath making up for it. Go has been unchained. This man is incredible. We're going to wait for you. Can you stream our grand final? As long as the other team is okay with waiting, I will gra gladly stream another grand. Wova, oh, the sitter. A platter, even. And he gobbles it up. Wova, a roller. It's a sitter for Gub. Probably yet another one. And I gotta say, where was this ball state the past? Honestly, four games. Couldn't this couldn't this be a back reset? This is a bracket reset. This is the reset. Oath, 4-0. Probably the most disorganized I've seen out of Kennesaw. Not necessarily due to incompetence or anything. It's really just. Gah has set up the mechanics, and it doesn't look like Kessler has the answer! <laughs> okay, Par, sure, that might as well go in. Look at a 50. Poor Oath. In pool one, is currently up against Fisher and Grands. Oath, oh my goodness. How about a retort? Pinch. Off ceiling. And the flip in. I think Seb might have popped out, so he's not streaming. Parson is gonna be there. And I keep thinking this game is over, but I mean, two minutes, it's... Uh, that, that, that. Let's just say it's throwable. We could be seeing a Cinderella story come to a close within the next 10 minutes. As Ball State has answered back any critics they may have in the chat, including in, in my own living room. Because I was not confident in their ability to finish out the series. And I suppose I have renewed faith in them. Match point. Now Parson actually in the side flip. I like that setup. Certainly creative enough. TNT. Redirect of his life. Oh my word. A nice one from Oath. Where in the world did this come from? And try and capitalize on a counterattack. Maybe a fool's errand. Flitz. Air dribble. How about the bump? It's cringy to some. It's effective for all. Kennesaw 2 0 up trying to force a game five. Nichols College Esports on Twitch if you want to watch along. Oath, open shot and it's gonna go in, Ball State. Not going down easy. Kennesaw just could not get this out. Poor TNT, met so well by Wova. Wova, love that half rotation. Not a huge fan of that leave. It did provide an opening, though Gus saw potential danger. TNT, 
Gets a 50. Go. Waiting upfield. We've seen him score these every single time. And this is not going to be one of those misses. Go 2-2. Two, two. Kennesaw getting a bit too greedy on the rotation. Half time. It's all level. Woba. Flitz. Open shot. Only got to beat. A little bit of a turtle shot into a bump. What are you supposed to do about this? Let's look at the balls on this man. Underneath, delayed flick, and then into the bump. If it works, it works. I can't even say it looks stupid because it's clean. I can't even imagine what Go was thinking on that setup. Into the ceiling. Wova has to play hero. Oath with a back pass to absolutely nobody. It just had to go to five. Bracket reset from Kennesaw. They've kept themselves in it. And a seven shot performance from Flitz leads the way for five more minutes to determine one of the slots within CRL Fall. How's this one gonna go? So many teams in my time I have seen make it to this stage and crumble. Carson. Out muscled by Oath. Now Wova. Double. A miss on the backboard and on the shot. Kennesaw gets away with one. Wova. Held up by Parr. Flitz. Is this the double? Off the bar and out. The save coming in from Guh. Flitz. No touch from Guh. Flitz underneath, it's on the goal line! Parson for the lead! 27 ticks to go! The captain having all the ice in the world. Wova, no chance trying to get anything. They gotta go all the way across this field. And they're just not able to. Kennesaw State from the lower bracket. The bracket reset and now a game five victory to get into CRL Fall Ball State. We will see you next week.